Hey folks, this is Don from Elastic Strength and this is a video is about body elastics leg exercises. To do these exercises you need this platform. It's two two foot long 2x4s with six uh, one foot long 2x4s uh, screwed to them. You want to use screws not nails. This construction puts the platform about four inches high or about ten centimeters high and you'll be standing on this platform and the bands will be underneath the platform. For these exercises you'll also need a brute belt. You'll find a link to the brute belt review that I did on my channel in the upper right hand corner and you can read about the brute belt on elasticstrength.com. Finally you need these two one inch inside diameter carabiners. I got them at Ace Hardware. You can get them probably at Lowe's or Home Depot or any good hardware store. You'll need those to attach the bands to the brute belt. Now let's get started. I'm going to start with the full heel squats which is the easiest of the three variations I'm covering in this video. So you have the brute belt on with those two one inch inside diameter carabiners on the side loops of the brute belt. You put the body elastics band on the floor and put the platform over the top so that the body elastics band is passing in the channel between the two long, two foot long 2x4s. Two then you thread the band through the one inch inside diameter carabiners and attach the two ends of the band together in front of your body. That prevents the band from going slack when you get into the deep squat position. Then you stand up and you get ready to squat. So for this full heel squat, you squat down on the balls of your feet. Keep your torso upright. You go down until the hamstrings touch the back of the calves and your thigh is parallel to the floor. Keep your hands in front to maintain your balance. Here's the side view. As you can see, my heels come up. I go down until the back of my thighs touches my calves holding my hands forward to maintain my balance. Move slowly from top to bottom. This maintains tension on the muscles. At the top, avoid locking out your knees. Here's again from the front. This is about the speed you want to move. Keeps constant tension on the muscles. Remember, you're not trying to do something with to the resistance with your muscles, you're trying to do something to your muscles with the resistance. So slow motion increases the tension on the muscles and reduces the amount of external resistance you need to achieve muscular fatigue. When you're done, you sit back, put your hands on the floor, the slack goes out of the band, detach the bands, and now you can stand up. You're done with this exercise. I recommend most people do about two minutes of time under tension, 90 seconds to two minutes of time under tension with the speed that I had, that would be about nine to 12 repetitions. Now we're doing split squats. Again, you have the band on the floor underneath the platform. This time you attach the bands to the carabiners on the side, attached to the side loops of the brute belt. Then you stand up and you need a furniture slider or in my case I just have a smooth frisbee underneath the less active foot. That allows the trailing foot to slide easily across the floor. A furniture slider is ideal but this frisbee works very well too. You might have a old frisbee that's very smooth top, no ridges on it that would work just as well. Again, use a slow motion, pause at the bottom, maintain the tension on the muscles, don't lock out at the top. When you're done, dismount as shown. Just step back, put your knee on the floor, and then you detach the bands. Now let's do pistol squats. These are, this is the most difficult variation. Same thing, band goes underneath the platform. With the pistol squats, you will need to thread the bands through the one inch inside diameter carabiner. 
attach them together end to end in front of the body then you can stand up you got to keep your weight on the platform as you stand up or the platform will come off the floor and this video shows some of the difficulties with this setup when you when the platform gets a little bit out of alignment with the um, power rack here that I'm using for stability as I go down it's just a little difficult to move it around because the band is pulling it off the floor you got to keep your weight on the band when you're trying to move I mean on you got to keep your weight on the platform while you're trying to move it around otherwise it just comes off the floor so then you just do pistol squats with the band resistance I like to have the uh, power rack to maintain balance at the bottom at least when I started out with these I did that later I did become able to do them without holding onto the power rack but you're trying to do something to your muscles not train balance so it's it's not a problem to use an upright just to maintain your balance at the bottom just don't use your arms to pull yourself up so we're down to the uh, final repetitions of this set so we can show you how to dismount So this is like 20 repetitions I did, 10 on each leg at this speed. It's about 90 seconds to 2 minutes of time under load on each leg. Here's the last repetition. Alright, so then keeping your weight on the platform, squat down, lean back, then you can detach the bands in that are joined together in front of your body move the platform out of the way and you're done so those are the three exercises that I can suggest you do with the body elastic bands and that homemade platform that I described earlier thanks for watching